Alright, so getting straight into it, classes and structs are extremely useful because they give us the ability to make our own data structures. And what I mean by data structures is that we're able to create our own new classes or structs that have our own variables and functions, and it allows us to create multiple um, regions or parts of our program that have separate responsibilities, making our code easier to read and easier to modify. So to start off, I'm going to create a new class, call this CAS, I guess, uh, short for Classes and Structs, and I'm going to attach this to my example game object, and we can get coding. Alright, so let's first work with classes, as we're generally more familiar with that in Unity, as we create classes every time um, when we need to make our own script in Unity. So, of course, to create a class, you just do public class. You could call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this my class. Now, what we can do is put our own variables. So I can just do public int health, public int level, public int experience. And there we have a basic class for a player. We have his health, level, and experience. So now to create an actual instance of our class here, what we do is, let's say in our start function, or any function that you want to work with your class in, you just put in the type, so in this case it's my class, you put in the name, so I can just do player, and equals new instance of your class. And there you go, you just created a new instance of your own custom class. And now you can access the variables that are public, so I can access the health, experience, and level, set the health to 100, set the player's uh, level to 5, and set the player's level or experience to whatever I want. I, just, I could just say 100. And there you go. Now that we have access to our class here, we can now just do whatever we want the variables. So we first modified it, and now we can just debug.log it. So I could do debug.log experience and there you go that is how we create a class change any parameters inside of it and uh, read off the variables so now if we go back into unity and we hit play you'll see that we have our health level and experience now this is one way to initialize a class but another way is we can use something what we call a constructor and a constructor is basically uh, whenever you type in new and then you put in your type it will ask for you to put in some parameters in the function to initialize the variables within your class so to create a constructor you just do public and then you put in the type of your class so in this case it's my class and you put in two parentheses like that and your two curly brackets and there you go you just made a constructor and now what you can do is you could take in uh, a bunch of parameters in this function that will initialize the variables within the class itself. So I can do int health or HP for short, int level, and then int XP. And now what I can do is in here I can set all of the in class parameters with the function parameters that have been passed through. So health equals HP, level equals LVL, and experience equals XP and this makes it much easier so instead of having to put a uh, allocate a couple lines to initialize the variables I can just get rid of these and inside of here you could see that it's now asking for some parameters so if it wants the health points I just do a hundred if it wants the level I do five and the XP is of course a hundred again and now we saved a couple lines and we can just debug.log it straight away and another thing about a class is we can create something called the destructor. It's the opposite of uh, a constructor, where a constructor actually initializes variables and sets everything up. The destructor is meant to actually deallocate variables or clean up any sort of resources that you have going on in your class. All right, and those are the basics of a class. Now let's work with structs. So to make a struct, it's pretty simple. You just take your class uh, keyword here and just replace it with struct, and there you've created a struct. And immediately right off the bat, you could see that our destructor that would work in a class no longer works. And you could see here only class types can contain destructors. And that is one difference between the struct and a class. Another difference between a class and a struct is that uh, structs cannot be null. 
So whenever I have uh, my class player, I set it to null, it will not allow it because structs are a value type. And a value type are basically non-nullable types in Unity, like an integer, a float, those are non-nullable. So whenever you're working with structs, you cannot set to null, always create a new instance of it. And for another big difference, this goes a bit more in depth, but it is about the memory allocation of structs and classes. Uh, when you're working with structs, there will be less memory allocated because structs are put into the stack part of the memory. And the stack part of the memory is like properly organized and things can be accessed quicker compared to the heap of a uh, heap part of the memory. And inside of the heap part of the memory, uh, objects and classes are put into a randomized, unorganized fashion. And because of that, they're going to have to allocate a pointer to a reference of itself in the memory, which would make classes uh, allocate more memory compared to structs. And since the stack uh, generally has less memory than the heap, then it is good for structs to only really have um, only a couple variables. Now, in the next and last video of the series, I'm going to be going over interfaces. So if you want to see that video, like, subscribe, stay tuned for that video, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.